What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Living Free channel. My name is Tyler Freed and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the difference between passive investing and active investing. And the reason I'm gonna be talking about this is because I made a video recently showing how a truck driver can become a millionaire in 10 years. If they follow a simple plan, they could become a millionaire in 10 years. And in the example that I used, I showed how if you save a certain amount of money uh, per month at a 10% rate of return, you would be a millionaire in 10 years. But the example I showed in the video was using a passive investment, the S&P 500, to get to that million dollar net worth as the vehicle to get to a million dollars. And the reason I made that video is because I was asked a question by a subscriber and uh, this person asked, hey, back in the day I heard you, back like earlier when you first started this channel, I heard you say that a truck driver could become a millionaire in 10 years. How would one go about doing that? Can you make a video about that? So I did make a video about that and you should go check that out. If you haven't seen that video, if you're new to the channel, I'll actually put that up at the end of this one as one of the recommended videos, and you should go watch that if you haven't seen it. If you're a person that has followed me uh, before and you've seen this video already, well then you already know what I'm talking about. Well, I answered his question and showed him how somebody could go about becoming a millionaire in 10 years. and he responded to the video I did and asked another question, which is another great question. Uh, the first question was a great question, and he asked another great question, which was, hey, you know, looking at you uh, doing the numbers with the S&P 500 as the, as the investment vehicle to get to a million dollars, it got him thinking about how hey, I could probably put my money in like small businesses, like a laundromat or real estate or a car wash business or whatever, instead of putting it in the S&P 500 or you know, starting a trucking business, right? And I'm gonna get into that because in the video, I showed how you can use a passive investment like the S&P 500 index, invest in that over time, put your savings into that over time and let it ride the market over ten, a 10 year span and how you could reach a million dollars. Now, that being said, you could easily invest in other things. I wanna be very clear. In that video, I used one like investment vehicle that you can use to reach that million dollar net worth, but that's not to say that I think that's the only way to reach a million dollars in 10 years. That isn't the only way. A lot of people don't wanna invest in the stock market. They would rather put their money in real estate or start a business or whatever. But the point I was making is, hey, if you can take your savings and invest it and earn this rate of return for a 10 year span and continuously invest at this pace, you will reach a million dollar net worth. However, that being said, like I said, if you wanna start a business, if you wanna invest in something like a laundromat or a car wash business or buy a truck, become an owner operator, invest in real estate. Those are more active investments. You are going to be physically controlling those investments. Whereas if I buy an index fund in the stock market, and I wanna be clear too, I don't buy just the S&P 500. I buy a broader index fund than that. I buy a total US stock market index. So there's more than 500 companies in the index fund that I buy. I buy the total US stock market index. I also put 25% of my money into an international index. I want to not only have exposure in the United States stock market, but I also wanna have some exposure to international companies as well. And he did say, that, and I'm paraphrasing what he asked me and what he said, but he did say that, you know, I really don't understand the S&P. I don't really understand uh, the stock market. And most people don't. That, that's just the way it is. Most people don't actually understand the stock market. Well, the S&P 500 is a passive instrument. If you're investing in index funds, you are just putting your money away consistently. You're going to dollar cost average over time. Every month when you have extra money, every month you're going to put your savings 
whether the market's up, whether the market's down, you're gonna put your money into that investment over a long period of time. I would not even invest in the stock market if you don't plan on holding that investment for at least five years because there's gonna be a lot of ups, a lot of downs, and to really make money in the stock market, in index funds in particular, you have to invest for the long run. You have to buy when the market's down, buy when the market's high, and then average in over time, and that's how you will accumulate wealth over time, okay? You ride the market ups and downs. You dollar cost average over time. But that's a passive investment. The companies that I own in an index fund, I am not actively managing those companies. I do not run those companies. I do not know the people personally that run those companies. If I invest in real estate though, I'm managing those deals. Even if I hire a property management company to manage my properties for me, I'm still more active in that investment. I'm still paying attention to those investments a lot more than I am when I stick my money in an index fund. Because when I buy an index, just understand this, if you're buying an S&P 500 index fund or a total US stock market index, you are buying a piece of American business. That's, that's what Warren Buffett said. He, he advises most people, 90% of people, to invest in a broad, diversified index, low cost index over time. And he recommends like an S&P 500. Why does he recommend the S&P? Because of the three major indexes, there's the Dow Jones Industrial Average, there's the NASDAQ 100, and the S&P 500. Out of the three major indexes, the S&P is the most diversified, the most broad of the three major indexes. You get every sector of the American economy in the S&P. You get every sector. You get healthcare, you get banking stocks, you get technology, you get industrials, you get restaurants, airlines, you get everything. You're buying a piece of the American economy when you buy an S&P or a total US stock market. The only difference between a total US stock market and an S&P is, is there's more than 500 companies in a total US stock market index. You're buying not only the largest 500 companies um, in America, but you're also buying mid-size and smaller companies when you buy a broader index fund, okay? So, but when you buy that, you're betting on the future growth of the American economy over time, American business over time, okay? That is what you're doing. But you're gonna have to think long-term. You're gonna have to think, hey, where are companies that I use every single day like Apple, you're watching me on an Apple phone most likely. You're watching me on YouTube, which is owned by Google. Both of those companies are publicly traded and in the top 10 holdings of the S&P 500. I'm sure you use Facebook or Meta now. They are in the S&P 500. Do you ever eat at McDonald's? Do you ever eat at Burger King? Do you ever fly on an airplane? All these companies that we use, the cell phone you're using, you have service on that cell phone. You use AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, all publicly traded companies. We use most of the companies that are publicly traded each and every single day that are in the S&P 500. And when you buy an index fund, you're investing in all of those companies. Amazon's another one. See, all these companies we're familiar with, you look around and you see them every single day. You're betting on the future growth of those companies over time. Will those companies as a group be making more money, worth more money, five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years down the line than they are today? Will they be worth more in 20 years than they are today? I believe they will be. I do believe they will be. And so I'm investing my money into those companies for future returns, future growth. That's what I'm doing. When I'm investing in an index, all I gotta do is increase my income, make as much money as I can, live on less than I make, stay out of debt, and invest as much money as I can passively into that index. Whereas if I wanna go and start a business, I need to save up money and I, I need to go invest in that business and I have to manage that business. I'm not saying one way is better than the other. I am gonna do both. I plan on starting businesses that I control to increase my income, 
but I'm gonna take my excess cash, my savings, and invest it passively over my working lifetime. So you should do both. That's my opinion, is people should not just invest in a passive investment. Maybe think about starting a business, especially if you're an expert in a particular industry and you feel like you could start a business and be successful in that business and running that business, maybe put your money in that and grow that and don't worry about any other investments besides that until that becomes extremely successful. And then when you're making so much money that you have to put that that profit somewhere, that's where you start thinking about, okay, maybe I need to invest in you know, uh, the stock market or real estate, something more passive, right? Now, real estate though, that being said, I, I think real estate's more active. That's active investing because real estate is hard. I mean, you're not just sticking your money in a property and then going home and doing nothing with that property. Like you've got to manage that property. There's a lot of work involved in real estate. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying understand it's not nearly as passive as just sticking your money in an index fund over time. I don't have to worry about my index funds. If I owned a rental property or two or three rental properties, I would be monitoring the, that investment every single day, managing those properties. So that would be more active for me. So like I said, I think do a little bit of both, but that's the difference, guys. If you're working on that investment or managing that investment actively, that is active investing. If I'm putting my money into companies that I don't control, but I'm investing in their future growth over time, that is passive investing. So I hope I kind of made sense on that. Uh, I thought it was a great question. Though. I'm not saying don't do that with your money. Uh, the number one rule of investing, this is a, a great thing uh, that I heard Dave Ramsey say, right? And he said, the first thing about investing is don't put your money into anything that you don't understand. If you don't understand index funds, don't put your money in that. Learn about real estate. Learn about the industry that you're in. Invest in that. Start a business in that. Invest in whatever you understand. If you understand index funds, if you understand real estate, put your money in that and build that. Don't, don't do 50 different things at once. Pick one thing and build that up big. And then once you've built real wealth, then that's when you can diversify out of that main thing that you do. But while you're first starting out, I believe in focus. I believe in building whatever it is you started up as big as you can and then diversifying. That's what I'm doing. Right now, I'm increasing my income. Once again, I increase my income in any way possible. I earn as much money as I can. I stay out of debt, live on less than I make, and invest a large percentage of my income in my preferred investment vehicle. And that's it. So I hope you guys like this video. And uh, if you like more uh, content like this, I hope you stay tuned for the next video. Again, go check out the video I made about how to become a millionaire as a truck driver in 10 years. If you don't want to use an S&P 500 to get to that point, you know, consider real estate or starting a business or whatever. But, uh, you know, the point of this is when you get into trucking, you're going to make good money if you're smart with your money and you save your money and you invest your money over long periods of time, you will build wealth, you will get ahead. That's the whole point of uh, what I talk about on my channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So God bless, thank you for watching everybody and peace out.